Okay, good. The camera fixed again, trying to go on the zone. All right. So what I was just saying is they're basically telling you you can consult mediums, you can consult psychics, you can consult them, you can consult priests, you can consult you know false prophets, you can consult this and that one. You bring up dead ones. You can do it this way. You can do it that way. You can you can praise this god, praise that god. You can go to Egypt. You, that's what they're saying. You know, and they just saying you can praise a bunch of gods and still you know uh, you know make it to heaven, etc. etc. Now, you know. That's the point. If you had a blind eye, thank God for opening your eyes, spiritual eye. You're helping the sal you know, you're helping the salvation. Because point blank is that's what basically what they're telling you. They're telling you you can accept anything. You know, like it's like it's just like bringing okay, it's like spiritually bringing tarot cards into the church. Spir or, or those that are just spiritually bringing tarot cards into their home and saying that they are you know taking up the cross. So all these, you know, moguls and those are not those are not, are not moguls. We're just people uh, in general that are following any or saying that they're following the universe. Don't realize you're saying you're following every single practice, and you're saying that in spirit. So when you say, "Oh no, I don't this, I don't that," right? You're no better than the uh, Christ believer, Bible believer, Torah believer that says, "Oh no," and they're acting holy than thou. So right, so you know. It, oh man. So why? Right, so the worldly people are just like, oh man. They're just like them Bible believers, so called Bible believers, Christ believers, but we're just worse. They say, oh no, oh no, I won't consult the psychic. And no, no, you're playing psychic yourself. The, 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 the woman telling you this nonsense, she's a psychic herself because she has to be a psychic to be saying, oh well, you know, Christ is not the only way and this and that. How does she know that? Did she pray? And she asked me, people, that's why when I be saying pray, that's what I mean. You understand? Because see, the thing about it is these false preachers and false pastors and false bishops that are getting behind these harlots, they're not telling them, well, sister or brother, did you pray upon the stuff you're asking or are you using your own wisdom? See, that, that's the point. And that's, see, they're not telling them, just like Trump, Trump's advisors that are, you know, um, you know, advising him, Paul White and whoever, they're, they're giving him credit on, on, you know, being a man of God or whatever the case is. Well, are they really insisting that he pray and become saved? Think about what I'm saying. Are, are they insisting that he pray and become? Are they praying salvation over him? You understand? Like, you remember they got this the sinner's prayer. So, 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 well, okay, all right. So are they praying to pray? You know, are they praying a the prayer of salvation over him? You understand? The people were claiming to be getting advice and things like that, but people are not. You know, the pastors are not doing their role. They're not doing their role at all. Okay, me, personally, if I was to be advising somebody spiritually, first of all, you're going to become born again because you have no choice. You know why? Because the work I do is for God. I do the work for God. I don't do the work for this one or for that one or for that one or this one or to fit in. No, you, you ask me, is there many ways? I'm going to tell you no. There's only one way. The Christ, like, as he told you. Did you read? Did you pray? Well, let's pray right now and pray tonight. You understand? They, and that's the thing. They're not aggressive. When I say aggressive, I mean aggressive in the manner I just spoken. I just told the truth. I just spoke and said what Christ said. Christ is the only way into the Father. Now, <sighs> thus is the Christ. So that's the point, you know. So people are not taking initiative. They're just they're just taking jobs. When they take jobs, they're falling back. What happened to the ministry? I don't care if you're a damn president. I can give a damn about that. Pardon the language. But I can give a damn about that. Call me, man. I don't care who you are. My, my, my ministry comes first, and that's realistic. I don't care about the job. My ministry comes first. You understand? I give up all that if you try to jeopardize my relationship with the Christ, with the Father, with the Spirit, which is all in one. Praise Yahweh. Now, that's the point. So, they're not, you know, they're not doing their job. They're not advising them. They're listening more. They're, they're listening more to, to the one they're advising and they're saying. See, you can hear them out, but you can't let them be the advisor because they're not. Do they know God or do you know God? That's what you're going to realize. You're, you're, you're the advisor because you're supposed to be the one that know God. If you're over them, that means you know God. You know the Christ. You don't just know the Torah. You don't just know the Bible. You know God. You know the living Torah, the living Bible. You know God. You know the scriptures. It means, and you're saved. So you can speak this. So you can boldly speak this. If you can't boldly speak in front of another person that you're advising, then how are you of God? How are you saved?
The Ruach is not a sucker. The Ruach is not a coward. Now, we may be cowards at times and suckers at times and, 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 you know, shy away from things and deny things. The Ruach does not deny anything. So is that was is that in you? That's what I'm saying. So see, there's so some people that are saying that. They don't know because they, they never prayed. They never had no prayer over them. And when they do pray, they pray this little sucker prayer. And I hate to say it when I say sucker prayer, I mean they're not praying. They're not praying for salvation. They're praying to get by the day. No, you need salvation. If Christ, like I said, if Christ was to come back any day, you don't have salvation. He don't. And not only that right, you're supposed to be serving Christ. You're supposed to be glorifying God. You're supposed to hear ye him. This is my beloved son whom I well pleased, which is why I always say because I'm saying we're supposed to be following God. Do we love him with our heart, minds, and soul or not? That's all I'm saying, man. So listen, you know, whether you're in the White House or whether you wherever you at or whatever you do, whatever corporation you work for, or if you don't work for a corporation, or if you're homeless, or if you're in a shelter, or if you live in a mansion, or whatever the case may be. You gotta find God. And you have to pray. Because I would say that again, the only way you're gonna receive is by praying. Because then I would say this was born again too. The only way we knew Christ was the only way we had to wait and find out. We didn't just know that either. So you gotta pray and find out. So you can't try to hide and just act like, you know, right. So we, we too, we can't say, oh, yeah, we just knew. No, we didn't, we didn't know anything. It's a Christ brought us in. It's a Father brought us in. We drew a line to Christ and the Father brought us in. Told us, yes. You ought to believe on my son. That's when our world changed. That's when we threw on Christ. You threw on Christ, you, you threw on Christ courtesy of your Father God. Because the Father God, the Father God answers the question that you ask if you sincerely ask it. You can't go to a prophet and just ask that kind of question. You have, to, you have to go to God about that. And a prophet has to be a stern prophet and stern in righteousness, meaning 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 a true prophet of God. If you're stern in righteousness, then you'll find the answer through God through him. But it's still through God. So, rise up in God. And how you do rise up in God? By taking up your cross. How you take up your cross? By following your shoe and denying, denying everything that needs to be denied. Man, woman, child. Alright, so let's stop this nonsense. Those of us that, you know, oh man, oh dear Lord, uh, Abba Father, bless these nations, open their eyes, open their eyes to who you really are, because they choose not to seek you, they choose not to ask you, they choose to ask and console others, and the others, instead of following your rules, they're following the rules of the ones that ask, oh Lord, the authority. We pray, Lord, that the authority that you put, authority, the, the authority that you put over others is true authority that come in your name, that prophesy true reality. Not as you say in Jeremiah, not those prophesying in your name and saying things that you've never said. So we pray, Lord, we pray truly a releasing of the real prophets, the real pastors, to preach your word, to keep your word out there and be bold. In every sense of the matter, no matter what, in Yeshua's name, amen. Peace.